Okay, we're going to review how to blow down the boiler properly. Um, this is a Fulton 30 horsepower like a lot of stores have. Um, for sake of uh, being able to hear while we're doing this, we're not going to have the boiler on. But this can ideally be done with the boiler running in the morning. You want to be at about 15 pounds pressure, uh, which will show up here on the gauge. Um, Pat here is going to go through the steps in blowing the boiler down. First, just going to open the city water valve into the blowdown tank. Then she's going to open valve number two, the angle blow blowdown. She's going to open that all the way. Then she's going to operate valve number three, which is the main blowdown. She's going to open and shut it a couple of times. Let the sediment out of the bottom of the boiler. Now she's going to close that valve. Turn around and close the angle blow valve. We've just drained all the sediment out of the bottom of the boiler. Okay, now she's going to reopen valve three. Alrighty, and come to the front of the boiler. Just going to drain the side glass, open and shut twice. You can see the water level inside the side glass fluctuating. And now she's going to drain the water column, which is valve 5. She's going to open and shut that twice. The sound you're hearing is the boiler feed pump having kicked in because we actually drained water out of the boiler. This is actually a good thing. It means the probes inside the water column are clean and we're giving it a good functional test. Uh, this operation is completed by closing the main blowdown valve. And then closing the city water valve. Now you've blown down the full boiler and you're ready to run again. For what it's worth, again, this should only be done at 10 to 15 pounds pressure on the boiler. If you miss it or it's late in the day, it's best just simply to do it the next day. If you have any questions, by all means give us a call 800-941-6673.